You know, at first you think an announcement like this would be something, hey, let's get all hyped up about. But I am concerned. I am concerned. So, and, and we don't know the level of who's involved and why and all that other stuff yet. But um, obviously Basic Fun is a company that reminds me very much of Tastemakers. They are known, obviously, for making these basic toys. I never heard of them before until tonight uh, when Michael B. showed this on a stream. But they make Care Bears and Viewmasters and Fisher Price Classics and My Little Pony and Tonka Trucks and all of that. So they're definitely Lincoln Logs. I mean, it's it's a toy company. This this isn't a company that focuses on video games or arcades. They're a toy company. XL Centipede, say it so in vertical orientation. See, I want to see. I want to see a, you know, a centipede cabinet from, um, from obviously New Wave Toys because I like, I like the quality I got from their miniature arcades, their replicate, replicate line. So I'm concerned. I'm concerned about the quality that a company that looks like on paper when you look at it, it looks just like Tastemakers is going to make. Um, especially when I'm looking at something like, I don't want to buy a bunch of these anymore. I just want to buy what I really, really want. Um, but these are what they make, right? They make these little arcades here. Um, they don't look like real arcades and they almost kind of look like, a uh, exaggerated tiger handheld. Although it does look better than that. It looks like it may actually look like it's a color screen there. You, so Jason Little Alien saying, I have a bunch of basic mini arcades. They don't make them, but they have a bunch of licenses. They are sold in CVS, Walmart, and Cracker Barrel around $20. So they're $45.99 now, apparently, on Amazon. Um, does that mean that they could make a good arcade cabinet, Jason? That's the question. They also did make ones that look more like real arcades. Let me find a pic. <laughs> oh, we're going to see. This is what's on Amazon. These don't look like real arcades, man. These these look really scary. Like, look, you can even get a carrying case for this Pac-Man. Look at this Pac-Man. I mean, this is not... I, I, I'm not feeling this is ideal. Now, here's an yeah, advertisement for Arcade 1-Up while we're looking in here. The Speak of Spell. They still make that thing? Looks like they do. Interesting. Here's their centipede. This is what their centipede looks like. <laughs> Look at that thing. It looks like a Fisher Price toy. Looks like a Fisher Price toy. I hope you have a picture of something better, man. I really do. Because this is this is concerning. Yeah, it is making it fun, at least, I guess. I guess it gives you something to talk about. Something to, you know, talk to other people, get excited, have conversations, do shows, whatever. Um, you said it's tiny arcades. Yeah. Basic funds didn't make the ones that looked real. My bad. Yeah. They don't, they don't look real at all. Like I, I just did some basic research here on these and like this, th look at this is 5.7 inch tall, four inches wide. And it, it looks like a baby's toy. That's what this looks like. It looks like a toy that you would have had when you was a preschooler. And you decided to, like, you know, you had it in your toy box and you pulled it out. And you're like, look, I got a centipede arcade and had big buttons and everything. Like, this doesn't, this doesn't look like it's for adults. Now, here's the thing, right? They may have started this way and maybe, I mean, this doesn't look much better than the My Arcade stuff. Let's be real. Look at this. This looks like one of those Tiger handheld electronic screens. So here's the thing, right? So maybe that's not what they want to deliver with this new product. Maybe it is possible, it is possible that John D and Bobby Vu and Adam Kalb are working with this company to bring a new line. You know, maybe they're involved in it some way as far as, far as being a third party advisement. I don't know. But if you look at what they have right now, what's going on here, it it this is this has gotta be a joke. Like, I mean do you want this? Is this something you would have in your home arcade? Uh, it looks like a Fisher Price toy. Am I, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Tiny arcades were cool. 
Yeah, I have the Pac-Man one. $36 too much for those. Yeah, you have them, Papa Brad? You had those? Okay, Papa Brad. Uh, if anybody wants to come talk about this, here you go. Here you go. I know this is kind of late night. I don't normally have a show right now and all that other stuff. I'm just looking at this stuff and I'm like, it's disturbing. Because, like, I I don't see... I don't I don't see how these are any good. Like I said, it looks like a baby's toy to me. It looks like a baby's toy. You found yours for two dollars at a strip store. A, a strip store. A, <laughs> a thrift store. <laughs> Boy, I gotta get my mind out of the gutter, don't I? Yeah, it looks like junk. I, I don't. I mean, like this isn't something that I would buy typically. <laughs> like, it it definitely looks like it belongs in a um toy box for a little four-year-old if you see kermit the frog backstage do not put him on live all right yep lots of arcades at the strip store <laughs> oh man i don't know these just do not look very good at all and then obviously you know I want to be nice, I really do, but these my arcade ones don't look any better. I mean, <laughs> they just don't. Is it really that hard to make a quality arcade product? Like, I, I don't understand. I feel like if we put more crap out into the marketplace, we're honestly never going to get anything that we really want. You know, we're just going to continue to get this. For sure. Hey, Biggie D. Biggie D, have you seen these things, man? These, um, these, what are, whatchamacallit, basic fun arcades. This is what they currently have. I, like I said, I think it looks like a, like a little four-year-old toy. Like, if they're making a full-size centipede, I hope, I, I really hope they're doing something completely different. But I can't see the toy, a toy company like a toy company doing anything that much different than what Arcade 1-Up did because you're going to mass produce it, keep a lot of profit. They're not going to sell it for a lot of money. I mean, I don't know. This is just concerning to me. I, I, I really just want to see... I really was hoping that there'd be less of this and more of the, you know, actual quality products, you know, and maybe you just get the one, one or two or a handful you actually want. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm nuts. These were plastic. Will be interesting to make <laughs> particle board pro products. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess if you make a home arcade, it's going to have to be particle board to some degree. But there's a level. There's like a quality level. Like the I arcade quality, this quality is, is very good. And I, I'd be very happy with a product that's made like that. That's more like what I'd like to see. Problem is, though, I think that something like that cabinet, honestly, does have to be eight hundred dollars to make to make mar to make like margin on it and be able to produce it. And that was a hard sell in the in the community, but it also was a hard sell because didn't exactly have the best titles. So there you go. Basic fun didn't do a particularly good job with handhelds. I it, they look like a tiger handheld in a in, in in a plastic box that I'm supposed to throw in a toy box for a child. That's what this looks like to me. Look at this. It's got a big huge on off button and some pretty basic controls and it it just looks sad. It looks sad. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This looks really bad. Kev Gret is in the chat. Kev Gret, I, 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 I'll be honest. Kev Gret's the one that sent me the picture of the centipede, which is right over here. And so then I started looking at this and go, no, I got to talk about this right now because this does not look good. This does not look good at all. Hopefully XL is, what's to say? Hopefully XL isn't the baby cane killer. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? It's what it looks like. 
We don't know if it's with John D. John D leaked this information to Michael B on Michael B's stream. So Michael B was sitting there, 19K Fox came in, check your DMs, check your DMs. And he checked his DM and he's like, John D leaked this. And um, that's why I put John D on it. Okay, because that's what the leak was. Now, maybe John D just knows about this and not John D's not involved. That could be the case. Maybe John D is involved. But if John D is involved in this, he's going to have to do an awful lot of work with this company to get this to be an appealing arcade product because what they got right now, this, this is not legit. This is not legit at all. This, <laughs> this is crap. I, I'm sorry, but it is. Now, I can't. I, I will say, you know, you could change the story. You could go over there, and if you, you know, have the right system in place, <laughs> John D. aware that this is a really bad product like most of the other arcade one-up stuff lately, and he's just making everyone look bad before we see what he has up his sleeve. <laughs> I hope so, Mike Hawk hurts. I do, because this is bad. This isn't even listed on their official website. Okay, this is their official website. Do you want do you want pound puppies? What else is in here? Coca-Cola, Caribbean. I mean, Coca-Cola is fine, but it's pillows and stuff they make. Light Bright, Mini Classics, whatever that is, Tinker Toy, Tonka, Uncle Milton, Viewmaster, My Little Pony, Micro Teenies, whatever the hell that is, Cotton Candy Kins, Fisher Price Classics, Lincoln Logs. I thought Fisher Price made their own stuff. Oh, wow. They're making like the 80s stuff from. Oh, my God. Look at this. Why would they make this anymore? This is this is dated. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. People actually buy this. I thought I mean, like, this is the stuff I was trying to get rid of. <laughs> the chatter phone. <laughs> Arcade one up made cheap plastic stuff like this before. Doesn't mean they can't make. I agree, Biggie D. But Arcade 1UP never made anything that wasn't cheap. Let's be real. You said, Arcade 1UP made cheap plastic stuff. That's how you preferenced it. That's how you preference it, right? So we don't want cheap plastic stuff. I, 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 I'm going to say that. And I'm not saying John D. couldn't fix this. He could. He could go work for them if they could do it right. I mean, you know, if Bobby's saying, hey, we want to do it this way, and, and they listen to Bobby, sure, sure, sure. I, I will go with that. I'll say, hey. Give it a shot. But like, when you look at it right now, does this look like the type of company that's going to put a lot of money into a home arcade for arcade enthusiasts? Or are they going to put money into something that's like a toy that they could sell and make easy, quick profits on it like Arcade 1-Up? Right? Because this does not look like to me like this company wants to make a decent arcade. None of this looks like they want to make a decent arcade. They want to make toys for children and make money off plastic goods, right? Somebody asked about Coca-Cola. So here's what they got in Coca-Cola. It's not a nice replica vending machine like New Age Toys has got, okay? It's 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 like pillows, plush animals, stuff like that. So it's toys, cheap stuff. Pillows that you could get out of the crane machine that Arcade 1UP made, right? <laughs> Basic funds videos will be hitting any moment now. Uh, it's already hit biggie d i'm here i'm the one doing the video and you're here watching it <laughs> talk <-a. laughs> talk -a. yeah brands tonka tonka trucks these look like they're old school tonka trucks retro collectors that means it's got to be real metal could that be promising for this arcade product maybe so Oh, Papa Brad is backstage. Hey, hey what's hey, up, Papa Pops Brad? Games, good, to see, gaming. good to Sorry, see you, Sorry, I missed an earlier stream, but I can catch this one. Hey, I got something to show you. I got something to show you. You do. Look, you at, this me... little, look at this little mug right here. Look at that. The... That is a yeah. tiny arcade. Look at that. That is a tiny arcade. Is that made by yeah. Basic Fun? No, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> look at that. It's got a working marquee. And the crazy part, <laughs> steps. You can play the Pac-Man. It's the main ROM. That's new wave competition right there. Look at that. Like 20 bucks at Walmart. Yeah, I have, I have one they, of those. They used to have like this, the Space Invaders. They had a couple cool ones. Yeah. Um, I used to, I, I don't know where I put my Space Invaders, but the Space Invaders is so small, it's hard to play. Because it's like, it's like you're playing Space Invaders on something the size of a postage stamp. 
So, yeah. Full screen this so you can see this in all of its glory. This is pretty. So this what is do pretty you, nice. What do you think of the new centipede? <laughs> How about this one? How about this one, Steps? What is that? It's so small on my screen. There, there. I can put. I, can, I, I Let me remove this. What do you got? Oh, look at that, Steps. Oh, Palace Arcade. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Oh yeah. And look what comes on it. Uh, Pac-Man. Pac it's Pac-Man's everywhere. The basic fun centipede is give you nightmares. Yeah. Look at all the Pac-Man. I think the set of basic fun centipede might not be made anymore, so it's ninety-nine dollars because the Galaga one's forty-five dollars. Anyway. What do you think of the centipede? Uh, it was like um, th that one is like the digital. It's not even the um, not even the video game. It's like um, one of those games like the um, those really old ones that are like the LED screen. Mm. Yeah, uh, ninety nine bucks. I mean, do people buy those? <laughs> they made these five or six years ago, so before arcade went up. The the one that you know, this is more of a realistic price, I guess. Uh, was the the Galaga one is forty five dollars? Mm. Visit the Basic Fun store. Only mm. one left, and so this is directly from Basic Fun. Oh, okay, it looks like the same kind of joystick thing. Like on the Stranger Things, it, lo it looks like a toy. It yeah, don't look well, I mean, like a like a home arcade like a product you want you know? in your house. Like, like I that scares me. I mean, like mm -hmm. the fact that we're saying, okay, this company is going to be making arcades. I mean, this company, Basic Fun. If we go back to the main page, they they look like tastemakers. What about what about this company? Hey, if they got the right, if they got the right direction. You think they can? You think they could? They could go the right way with absolutely. this? Absolutely, absolutely. Really? Look, look at the stuff they're making. Yeah, if they have, they have someone that knows what they're doing to help them, to guide them. Yeah. Why These not? Look I my mean, arcade hatchimals, uh, uh, steps. Hatchimals. How's this any different? It's not any different. There was no arcade one up. Um, that category was created. You know. Yeah, I know. But like, I'm saying, how is this any different than tastemakers? I mean. For the for what I paid for it, this little Meyer, this little tiny arcade, this thing's pretty badass. It even look, it even has a keychain, steps you could you could clip it on something. Okay, cool. So so, I mean, so twenty bucks, but I mean you know they have to do it right. But I wouldn't write it out. I mean it's possible, I guess. So you think it's possible that we get a quality arcade that from this company, Basic Fun? Arcade one up started with Hatchimals. I mean, it's possible. What do you okay, mean? You, you are you saying? Are you saying Arcade What Up made quality product? No, I'm not. I mean, you know, I'm <laughs> about that. don't even don't even put me on the record with that stuff. But, yeah, okay. Uh, what I'm saying, you know, the tiny arcades That's are pretty possible. cool. Okay. And okay. steps. Uh, I'm doing a maybe full screen just for a second here. All right. For a second, just for a second. Look at this beautiful Pac-Man. Saturday night. Papa Brad's going to be celebrating 10,000 subscribers. You could walk out with this bad boy. Now this, this is an arcade. Look at this. This is a numbskull, isn't it? This is a numbskull Pac-Man arcade. I'm giving this away, Steps. On eBay, 300 bucks. Look at that. All wood. Plays the main ROM. Plays Pac-Man perfectly. This thing is gorgeous. This looks way better than the stuff that this new, this basic fun company. All you got to do is show up Saturday <laughs> night and be in the chat. You have to be subscribed. This looks way oh, better than gaming. that stuff basic fun you is You can making. walk away with this. Plus, I'm giving out a ton of at games gift uh, certificate gift stuff. So uh, awesome. 10K, come join me. Man, Rexer needs to join. Rexer's uh, going for a Pac Man high score. How cool would this to be having his back in his, in his arcade? Pretty cool. You could win it. Saturday night steps. Eight My arcade is the five below of home arcade. Basic fun is the Dollar Tree. Yeah, this one is <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> <laughs>
look, man, here's the thing. I let me let me let me um Yeah, getting off the full screen. I just wanted to uh let, let me let me say this. I really, really want to see another company do a phenomenal job on a home arcade product. It's gonna but, take a lot of guidance from but, what we're looking at made before. It's a very big jump, but it's not impossible, you know. Well, hold on. We may be saved. I found something out mm -hmm. that will be very useful to this discussion. All right. So let me share this again, okay? I'm going to share the screen again. Look, their Lincoln Logs use real wood. That's real wood. Real so they're wood, wood Lincoln business. Logs. They're, they're in the wood already business. in the wood business. They got a connection. They, may, they know a guy. Get, we may get real wood in these arcades that they're making. <laughs> I don't know. Manufacturing is manufacturing. I mean, it, it, like I said, they're probably going to require a lot of guidance, but you know, Look. I'm just going to be honest. Centipede is one of the all time great games to me. I would buy, yeah. like if they had a really nice replica centipede for like, I don't know, 600 bucks, maybe. I don't know about yeah. 800. It would have to be really, 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 really good. Um, but I mean, I could definitely see me buying a centipede. That's my wife's favorite game. Okay, let's explain. The only to game what... she really plays. It's in my, it's in my living room steps. I have the uh, arcade one up. Okay, that's, that's all it does is play centipede. So here's the deal, um, Rick. Basic fun. This company here that makes toys. They make Care Bears and uh, all these other companies here: Tonka Trucks, Tinker <laughs> Toy, Fisher Price Classics, whatever. Pound Puppies. They are going to be working on a new home arcade. This is one of their previous mini home arcades and they're coming out with a uh, XL centipede according to John D that was the leak on Michael B mm. and so what we're discussing is 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 this company going to be able to make a quality home arcade product because they don't look very much different than tastemakers who made arcade one of them. and then you got to ask yourself is John D involved with the licensing with this company well they already had the centipede license that was already shown, right? So, maybe he's not, right? Maybe he's just releasing a leak, or maybe they're talking to them oh, about yeah. how to produce a full-size cabinet. I remember that centipede. That was at Walmart, and it was an LED. It wasn't an LCD screen. It was an LED. Like, like it's not even, it's like one of those old school ones, like from the, from like the 70s or early 80s. Yeah, like, you know the Tomy arcades, the way they had like the it was like LED lights that light up, but it's not actually a screen. That's what the centipede was. But they had done some other ones. They had a little defender. It was, it yeah, was kind of, they had a little. I think they had a little dig dug. They, they had a bunch of them. I never collected them, but I remember seeing them, and I, I thought they were kind of a cool novelty. Yeah, I don't. I I definitely don't want to be a hater. I really mm -hmm. just I I hope for something better. But I'm not. This doesn't look like a company that's gonna make something of quality. Mm -hmm. You know, like for for anything other than a plush toy. Steps. They're making micro micro teenies. Look at that. <laughs> the you know they can make a good arcade. They Tonka got Tonka trucks. trucks. They got real metal. They got mm -hmm. real wood. Mm -hmm. Maybe they could make a real cabinet, right? You Maybe never they know, could. man. Yeah, I I, I I think right now they got a bunch of junk. I'm hoping it changes. I really am. I'd like to see something different. Hey, well, really... you, you, Steps, you got it out there first. You got the news. You broke the news. You no, broke the internet. Michael you B the news, broke, broke the, the news, news, man. Michael B said it on his mm. show. I just, like, I was talking, funny enough, I was talking to Kev mm. Grit. And Kev Gret sends me a picture of what they made, and they go, "Oh no, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this because this doesn't look very good." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you getting the claw machine? No, I'm not. Are you getting the claw machine, Papa Bread? Oh hell no! No, I'm I'm as anti claw machine as you could get. To me, the claw <laughs> machines are the things that killed arcades. They turn yeah, all my I, they turn all my beautiful arcades into little miniature gambling centers for kids. You walk into the I can't arcade. Stand claw arcade. You uh, walk claw into the arcade the now. Of Papa Brad. <laughs> it's all claw machine everywhere. Claw machine. Claw yeah, you, machine. You, you, you want to trigger like, Papa you... Brad? Go, go go to a place that's labeled arcade with giant big letters, and you walk in, and it's nothing but claw machines. Oh my god, that triggers me. It's like that's not even an arcade. You don't know that's not an arcade. But that is what a modern arcade is to a lot of people, a bunch of claw machines. But to me, <laughs> to me, out. that's that's not that's not what an arcade is, right? 
I mean, I came yeah. from a different. I came from a different time. Yeah. Steps. I lived. In the I Golden want Age a call games. machine. You want a payphone? I think he means he wants a call machine. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't the thing know, that scares me: what are the chances of our K one up actually executing a decent claw machine? I mean, that's that's a lot more complicated than an arcade. I I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I mean, it's a very complicated thing to make. They're not going to change their. They're not going to change. Stuff. They're not going to change their mo at this point. They've already mm-hmm. proven that. So I'm not worried about arcade one up. You know. Hey, look! I, they make light bright. Light brights are yep, cool. They make I like light, light brights. Light brights. Cool, light brights yeah. are pretty cool product. Uh, Viewmaster. Viewmaster is a cool product. You know. I thought it was funny that they made the vintage Fisher Price toys from like the seventies and eighties. Like when, I cool when they had the, <laughs> they the look light at these. brights and stranger look, look, things. Look at, look at look what they make. <laughs> like remember these Papa Brad? They make those. <laughs> yeah, they're making them again. They're oh really... man, look at that record player. That's dope. It's that like is, what I had. That, that is like, like what I had when I was a baby. That is crazy. Yeah. I thought they made these illegal now. I didn't know that they were. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. At least we know Cal Lincoln Logs moved. got real wood. So maybe hey. we could get some real real wood. Hey, it looks like they're cabinet. all over the place, the manufacturing. You know, I mean, you know, they could do it as a totally different brand, though. I mean, you know, you know, our, our cave went up, doesn't put, we make Hatchimals on the box, you know. They, they just kind of made a whole new brand. So, I mean, could a company like this make a whole new brand? Yeah, they can. Maybe. But, but the issue know, is, will they have the will they have the 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 people that will know what they're doing? You know, in the oh, foresight. Oh yeah, the Punisher good. has online for the collection only if you go into a lobby. I think it's like if you go into a lobby, you could play the Punisher. If that's what you're talking about, because I figured that out the other day when mm-hmm. I was in the lobby. The problem is the lobbies have to work. I I had problems with the lobbies yesterday, and I couldn't play games with my friends, and I ended up. How does it work Kate. when you connect to someone? Is it is it pretty lag free or is there a bunch of lag or the switch version the first two days had a bunch of lag yesterday it did not so it's gotten the better. the it seems like it but i gotta mm-hmm. try more days uh I, then i got in to um uh the steam for friday night and it was great and then last night mm-hmm. it was terrible we couldn't connect or play games at all and we had to go to fight mm-hmm. yeah you have to go to the lobby and do it they use servers for that it's all, I guess so, if it's online, huh? Yeah, it's probably, you mean, like, if you're on the Switch, it's probably using Nintendos and whatever. Yeah. Um. Black and Decker. What are we talking about? Old Sears Craftsman stuff. These were made back in 2017. The plastic toys. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what that was a long time before. ago, Steps. Go I look know. at a TV from 2017 and see what well, a TV looked like. And then, looks- you know, that was a long time ago. This looks like as it far was as made, technology wise. This was made like like it was made for a four year old to put in their toy box. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it does. It, it just does. I, I, and that's concerning. It's concerning. It's concerning steps. I mean, I guess they if they if, I, if they make these Tonka trucks as good as they did back in the eighties, then we might have no problem. I will say that. I I had a dump truck just like this one. Yeah, they're all metal. Yeah, they were all metal. Those things, are, those things are beast mode. So I guess they have real metal and they have real wood. Maybe maybe they can pull this off. Mm-hmm. Maybe they can. Are you gonna? You know, maybe they can. A four year old would throw this out of a movie car. <laughs> the Senate, the Galaga, the Galaga. <laughs> Look at that. Even boots up like a real Pac Man machine. Look at that. That's um, no joke. Biggie D wants to know what the new at game skin is. It's ET. It's ET. I don't think so. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. They won't even tell me, so I have no idea. I said, I said, uh, hell no, ET all day. I meant hell no, my. I hope it's something good. I hope it's some. I hope it's some people ET's like. ET's you know? great. ET phone home, baby. Yeah. ET. I hope it's something people like. You know, I haven't been on stream with you for a while, Papa Brown. I know. It's look good. at this. It's look at this. Good. Step, steps. You, you've been on fire. You. you need to come on my stream and win this. And everyone can say it was rigged. 
Well, it's gonna be a stream yards. It's gonna be like you. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like I won that um arcade stick last night, and everybody says rigged, and I'm like, how is it rigged? You can't rig the stream yard comment picker. That's the fairest way to do a contest. It's fair. I I I, I won the arcade stick, and I'm really happy about it too because I Man. need another arcade stick. If you won this I, and you didn't want it, you could flip this on eBay right now for three hundred bucks. No problem. I try not to get rid of things Sweet. that people but that if I you like arcades. If this is a send, beautiful replica if, of a Pac-Man. If beautiful. people if people send me stuff and they mm. they like I I win it or they send it to me or anything like that, I, I no, I'm supposed to keep it. Hey steps, you got to play mm. to win. You got to subscribe to channels to win. Subscribe so. to subscribe, okay? Yeah, I'm subscribed Join these to channels, a lot of channels. Know? I can't keep I know, up with all of saying. them. There's so many, man. Um, you want Star Wars? Mm. But I bet it's Universal Pack Art with Back to the Future and Jaws on it. Oh, they better not do a multi cade I'll have to off the off the, off the, off to uh, be critical. I, I, Rick, I told you. I, I don't told want you any multi art. Season. Like, just do one movie if you're gonna do it. Please don't mix them all together. I hate that. I hate it when they do the mashup. Uh, like the, um, it reminds me of multi cade art. But Arcade One Up was gonna do Universal Pinball. You remember that steps? <laughs> yeah they were going to do oh, one they had guess, a guess what man we got the corner cane he says get hyped et is coming let's go is there an et pinball table yeah it's actually really it plays well i mean is it on the play. ad games yeah awesome the universal pack has et jaws and back to the future awesome dude back to the I future is probably the best table they've made so far i love i mean i don't know so so when i went to universal back in june you know, I, um, uh, here's Biggie D. Let's fucking go. All right, Biggie D. Let's go, man. I love the E.T. ride at Universal. You get to ride on the bicycle. How cool yeah, is that? Yeah, I was, that. I was on the E.T. ride at, at, at Universal. And, um, I, I was like, I haven't seen E.T. in a long time. I don't even remember it. So I came home and, uh, I watched E.T. for the first time in probably forever. And, um, maybe 30 plus years. And then I, mm -hmm. um... Went back in July, and of course I went on the ET ride. You know, I went oh, on the ET ride again. The, it's a little dated. It's a little dated, but um, steps, steps. Look at that. I love ET. What's wow, wrong with ET? ET is awesome. Who doesn't like ET? I'm impressed. The corner cade is up here. I thought corner cade would be streaming all about, all about basic fun already. Basic fun. Are you hyped for basic fun, corner cade? Like it, it doesn't hey, you look. Know, it's it's no more weird than a company making hatch hatchimals. You're right. So if he company. likes no more weird. one up, look at how much manufacturing experience they have. Though, look at uh, the the gauntlet. We got the Lincoln Logs. We got the Light Bright. We got Tonka trucks. You know, Papa Brad, I really thought you were going to be the negative one here, and I'd be the more the positive one. But today, it's the yeah, I'm not going to say. It's look, like Viewmaster. Who doesn't love it's these? Are some classic day, brands. Man. These are some <laughs> classic brands. You know. But you never know. You never know. Oh, you don't know what the news story is, Quarter Cade? It was on it was on Michael B, the game genie. Uh it was leaked by John D. He sent him a message and, and then he read it that Basic Fun is making a um XL centipede cab. This and they're new to home arcade. Well, you can see that they make a lot of stuff like Tastemaker does, Light Bright, Fisher Price. Lincoln Logs, Connects. you know, My Little Pony. But this is what they previously made in arcades. This is this like this thing right here. Basic fun Galaga mini arcade game. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a little toy for one of your one of your children. But what year did they box. make that? What year did they make that? Let's be fair now. What year 20, was that? 20, it doesn't matter. 2017. Do you really think Tw things That's a long that time ago, Steps. Okay, 2019 is a long change. time ago too. And what did Arcade 1 of do? They make the same shit. Make the same shit. Well, it's better than it used to be, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I have to admit that it's a little bit better. I'm not saying they're going to make. That'd be funny if they make this. Not as good as that that would be, be funny if they. They, they would be funny if they bit. make this at XL, wouldn't it? But here's the thing, man. I hope they. I yes. I hope mm -hmm. the Biggie D is right. I hope John D's helping them make this happen, mm -hmm. and they don't release something that looks like this. That's what I want. Yeah, you never know. I mean, what if they release it? It's it's, it's amaze balls. Well, media. Then one we'll all, you have to eat your a... words, but I mean, you know, they got to do it. So uh, you know, it's all it's all it's all in their their hands. You know, if you if you buy the license, you gotta. It's in your hands at that point. 
you know media one up get them to partner together maybe possibly so it's interesting so they already had the centipede license because they already previously released the centipede so that's probably why it's centipede right uh where was the centipede one right here Here's they the make speak and spell one. or no that's just all toys they don't make speak and spell that's not a brand they do. this is like an old speak and spell that's what i'm like saying that that's child. not even that's not even basic LCD fun screen. Does. Ma basic funds remaking this you could buy this for they make the speak and spell so so they're doing some stuff that's electronic look Speaking at that of e e that looks phone, authentic e that looks... E phoned home with this device right here man. steps that's what i'm saying <laughs> you, you think it's crazy but i'm saying it's not that crazy <laughs> look it's not that crazy look at that product <laughs> That is a very that looks exactly like a speak and spell. I remember. I guarantee it won't have. Yeah, I could guarantee that too, Biggie D. I I can. They are yeah. not arcade versions or console. They play more like the color version. Yeah, that's what they look like. The the color version of Tiger Arcades. Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw this. I go, this looks like a Tiger Arcade game. Or that's an -E LED LED game. I remember I, I yeah. saw that at Walmart. I almost bought that when it but. It's at ninety nine dollars. I'm gonna say it was like twenty bucks when I saw it. Now how it's many, at ninety nine dollars. Must be how, collectible. <laughs> how many set of pieces everybody win need? Wasn't this one up awesome? So I'm gonna be very blunt. What I was hoping for, and I, I got I knew what Rexer a needs right here. Rexer. Well, uh, Rexer. Saturday yes, night. this is home arcade breaking news. Saturday night, Rexer, hop in my stream. I'm giving this bad boy away. I know you like Pac Man. This thing is here, cool. It's here, made out of real wood. Look at look at what Papa Brad's giving away. He's giving Man, away. A I would love skull. for Rexer to win this because then, then he could play it. He could show us the patterns on this numb skull. All you gotta do is show up, Rexer. I know you subscribe to my channel. Show up. Look at this beautiful numb skull pack. I'm giving this. I'm giving this away. Three hundred dollars on eBay. If you don't want it, you can flip it. It's a beautiful, beautiful cabinet though. This is look at this. Even the back of it. Look at that attention to detail. Look at the back of that. I mean, that is crazy. Yeah, detail. this isn't this isn't this isn't made by basic fun. Just just to be clear. Yeah. Go to Kate. <laughs> Saturday not... night. Papa Brad's channel. 10K giveaway. Gonna have some good prizes. This is one of them. That that dub skull Pac-Man looks dope. It is dope. And I hope, but, I hope someone but... that's a regular viewer from our community wins. I would this, love for them to roll home with that and get that. This is delivered yeah, this is what basic fun makes this thing, this thing right here. So, Rexer, here's the thing, okay? Um, I don't own a centipede cab, I love centipede. I do have an I arcade, which I play centipede with Glenn's trackball, and it plays great, and I'm very happy with it. But the one thing I was kind of hoping for, honestly, I was hoping for was New Wave Toys to make a uh, more like nine tenths centipede because i thought that would be the very best cabinet with the him and glenn could make with glenn's trackball and that license and everything it'd probably be a really high quality cabinet um we got dig dug on here but we're getting a xl centipede from basic fun so what's that mean for arcade one up did arcade one up lose the atari license or does atari just let everybody do their stuff i think it's atari lets everybody make I think it atari if you have money and you want atari it will take it atari i don't think atari is bashful by, long. i don't think atari is bashful by collecting money it's all yeah. about if, if the price is right yeah look yeah. at the steps if media look at this little dig dug look at that company, how cool is that he wouldn't A be able to talk dug. about the centipede xl cap you know what that's right it's the main rom if so if media one up was working with this company he wouldn't be able to talk to this uh, to about the centipede xl cabinet you're 100 right so media one up isn't working on this so why else would he be leaking that unless he's just leaking stuff to get people to talk again right basic fun filed bankruptcy just a couple months ago it seems really odd for a company going through this restructuring to take a chance on a new product line like this all these are great points man mm -hmm. atari spreads the love yeah they do they get atari gives their license away like like they don't even give a no they like they like, they like they like steps they like money they're a business they like money They'll john d wants us money. discussing media one up corner kate said guys let's go thank you let's go pete up stop with that logic thinking it's messing up our fun in my opinion this is fake news where's the evidence exactly okay this was just michael b 
Saya that John D leaked this, right? So that's what we're talking about. So hopefully it is just fake news. Hopefully it is. I'm not going to comment on that. I'm no not going to comment on that. Um, no, thank you. But, Rexer, there's your opinion. You could say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Atari will license to me if I have a check big enough. I think so. I think they were trolling Mike B while he was live. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Maybe he was. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to retitle the video. Speculation on uh, tro Mike B. Troll. I don't know, man. I don't really care. I just want to come on and talk to people. Cause yeah, I yeah. I just wanted to come on. I mean, you know, when you said tiny arcade, I was like, hey, I got one of those. Yeah. I know what the tiny arcades are. I got one of those. Look at that. What What do you think John D. is doing? Do you think he's just messing I with wish people? Him the best. I wish him the best. I don't wish any bad yeah. luck on anyone but i mean good luck good luck all right yeah did anyone uh, call I mean, james about this leak if james hates it then it's legit okay everyone should just make fake leaks on all their channels well you did that didn't you mm -hmm. <laughs> no no i did it yay <laughs> great <laughs> we all did fake leak for you fake leak for you fake leak for you <laughs> everybody gets a fake leak mm -hmm. <sighs> that's funny uh <laughs> well played arcade is coming out with afterburner they are returning awesome afterburner mm -hmm. what's well played arcade do you know papa brad i have no idea well look it I up that brand i heard my arcade is making a miss pac-man full size sounds about right mm -hmm. <laughs> Legit leak, my arcade full size coming. <laughs> well, if it's my arcade, the only person that could leak funny. that would be Gen X grown up. This is funny. That's the only uh, person they work with. Hey, my leak was right. Just got the cab wrong. I told you John was hitching his lame licenses to someone mm -hmm. else. <laughs> Pito's not a full size arcade. You don't remember well played arcade pinballs. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up here. Uh, sorry, the news is on screen. I didn't choose any of those articles. Sega. Well, this is. This is you typed crazy. in afterburner. Just type well, well, well played arcade and get rid yeah, of afterburner. He said. I afterburner. think we need to go more general. Oh, that's a pinball machine. I love that one with the Zachar the Zachariah tables or whatever that you can't. Uh, he just did a video on it. Look at that. P-Dubs have one. Cool toy did Go a video on it, too. Well, damn, I'm way behind, man. <laughs> yeah, this, this not, didn't not make this an year. impression. Not, well, I you know, you're into pinball, Papa Brad. So. Yeah, I didn't didn't move the needle for me. Here, here P-Dubs, we'll skim your video. We'll just skim it. Okay, so it's a virtual... <laughs> Yeah, it's like some of the same 20, stuff that 20, At Games has, it looks like. 24-inch screen with Zachariah Games. Mm. Okay. Was this the one that said pinball? Like, in case you were too dumb to not know it's a pinball machine. They had one pinball machine that came out with steps. It said pinball, gigantic on it. It's like if you didn't know it was a pinball machine, it just said pinball. They were trolling Mike. Okay. Cool. But you know what the thing is, P dubs, when you say something, people believe it because you're a legitimate, like people consider mm -hmm. you a legitimate news source. So mm -hmm. if I'm watching Michael B and he says John D says this, then yeah, I'm gonna think it's a legitimate news. Mm -hmm. Right? It was gone so quick, Google's only index hey, of it was the one customer P dubs. <laughs> I was one of the first people to go to Best Buy and film a review. Wasn't I, Steps? They all copy Papa Brad. I'm the trendsetter. Did you do that? I thought I did that. I did that. You did it? When did you do it? Oh, man. A long time ago. When they came out with the uh, Mortal Kombat and the Pac-Man. 
Because I did, yeah, I went and I did a Pac Man review at the Best yeah. Buy, and everybody was pissed. You did the other Pac, you did the other one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. That was crazy. Yeah. I don't yeah. need to buy this junk. Yeah. Well, I'm going to buy this yeah. junk. Then I got to store it. Anyway, well, I just wanted to hop in and. Uh, yeah, you're cool. I'm not going to talk that long anyway. I just was having some fun. So, what is the pinball coming from at games? ET, Monster Bash, or Ghostbusters? Nobody knows. Nobody Except knows. Except them. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, P Dubs is for. You use P Dubs for dating advice? <laughs> it's not. I, you know what, P Dubs? I'm going to tell you this. I hope this is a fake leak. I really do. I hope it is because I, I really, I really don't want to see um, another company like Tastemakers back in the market. I, I mean, I don't, I'm not in the market to buy a lot of arcades, but I just don't. Personally, I don't. Could it be Jurassic Park? Does does uh, Zen have a Jurassic Park table? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have a deal with Universal. If they yeah, made they a do. Jurassic Park table, hmm, that'd be some pretty interesting stuff. All right. Well, you sound like you're sick, Papa Brad. Yeah, yeah, but I'm still fighting this cold. But uh, they filed bankruptcy in July, and now they're making XL arcades. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, P Dubs. That doesn't sound likely. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll, I guess I'll just retile the stream. Is it fake? <laughs> 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 we'll just leave it at that. Uh, you got two at games vets on the panel. Let us know who's who on your your show, Corner Cave. P Dub's trying it is one thing. Filming it for YouTube and acting like it's a review when it's only played for ten minutes is a stretch. <sighs> <laughs> Corner Cade, I don't, I, I'm not an at games expert in the least, man. I, I do not really play anything at games, and um, I do not, um, I do not, uh, no. And I, Brad left, so there you go.